Mm -hmm. So my app actually comes from the chat room. I was asking before the show, what would be a great app? And the, somebody said, and I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Oh, you're going to love Universal Zoom. This isn't free. It's $3.99. Uh, but it is, it, this is an educational app. And in fact, I think everybody would have fun with this, including younger kids, because it's all about scale and sizes. Oh. Okay. So, uh, so we can go and, and zoom in on the porcupine. There's the meerkat. There's the world's largest egg. See, compare that to a spiny seahorse. They're similar size. We can go down in scale. There's a penny. Human embryo is a little bit bigger than a penny. Honey bee. Wait a minute, we're getting smaller. There's a, there's a flea, the best jumper in the world. Whoa. And here's a Taya Margarita Nambiensis, Nam Namibiensis. Bacteria. It's a, it's a giant bacteria. There's, some, there's an eight-day-old embryo. There's a human hair. Wow. Don't you think kids would love this? That's your artery with blood cells under an electron microscope. We're down to 200 microns uh, now. Wait a minute. What's that? The world's smallest snowman. 25 <laughs> what? micrometers. Smaller than an embryo? There's an erythrocyte, which is something. A red blood cell, E. coli. So that's going down. We can go the other direction, too, you know. We, we're way down here. Actually, we can go a lot smaller, by the way. It goes all the way down to atomic particles and supercoiled DNA and a boy and his atom. That's the world's smallest movie, you know. They made that with, uh, with the little atoms oh. and a microscope. That is awesome. I love this app. Now, we can go the other way, right? So uh, let's, let's jump mm. up to human size and then go the other direction. Well, there's the world's biggest bird. There's a mammal. There's a there's a Tesla. Whoa! Wait a minute. What's coming in here? Uh, the biggest air uh, commercial airplane, the A380 Airbus. Wow! Oh, look at the space shuttle, the Tower of Pisa, General Sherman Sequoia. That gives you an idea of how big that Sequoia is. Almost as big as the Statue of Liberty. But wait a minute. What's coming in here on the left? That's the world's tallest building. Wow, at least the one in the Western Hemisphere, the Eiffel Tower. See, it's not nearly as big. There's the CN Tower. That's the tallest structure in the Western Hemisphere. Uh, I've been in there. That's a, that's a tall puppy, but it's not nearly as big as the Burj Khalifa, which is the world's tallest building. That's in uh, Dubai, where they made the lid for uh, Steve Jobs' uh, uh, theater. The, not, uh, now, now here's, here's a comet. That's the one that the Philae Lander landed on, right? Remember that? Mont Blanc, the uh, largest mountain in Europe. Mount Everest, the largest mountain in the world. A neutron star. Mars's moons. Phobos. Uh, Cleopatra, which is an asteroid. There's the moon of Saturn. There's oh. Vesta. Here's Ceres. Charon. Titania. Pluto. Now you know why they call it a dwarf planet. It's smaller than the Neptune mute Triton. Europa. There's our moon right there, right? Callisto. Oh, now we're getting into orbits here. This is thousands Whoa. and thousands, 30,000 miles. There's Neptune. There's uh, Saturn, Jupiter. Whoa, what's that big thing? That's the sun. Now here's Proxima Centauri. That's the nearest star to the sun. And Sirius. And you see we're getting bigger and bigger. This is so cool. I mean, it doesn't do much. $3.99 is a little expensive for something that's just cool. It blew my mind. But it is it is really, really neat. And see, I think this is kids would love this. Yeah. Just playing with it, right? Yeah, I think that is amazing. Just There's to a show light us where day. we about yeah. our space where do we in the fit? Worlds. Where do we fit in yeah. this world? There's a galaxy. I love that because you can't do that cloud. with a book. No, and this is where something like an iPad is uh, or an iPhone is a really a great teaching tool because it's so interactive and uh, and friendly. There's the Universal Milky Way. Universal Zoom. There's our galaxy. Universal Zoom. It's three three ninety nine, which I think, given how little this does, is kind of pricey. You can ha uh, we have a narration voice. I guess we turned that off, but it, it'll. Yeah, I see it'll talk. Well, a lot of times the educational apps that like you can imagine a school investing in that. Yeah, you know, three ninety nine is not that much. Yeah. And because they have a little, you know, the taxonomy here, you can kind of get an idea of of where you are. Let's go down to the smallest things. The smallest unit of length is billions of a yachtometer. Whoa, a yachtometer. A yachtometer. That's a, that it's a small, that's a plank length. And I know I'm not talking a wooden plank. There's not much down there. Let's get bigger. Now we're in billions of a yachtometer. 100 billion yachtometers. Billions. One millionth of a yachtometer. Still nothing down here. Come on! I'm getting lonely down here in the lowest end of the scale. Something must be down here. Wait a minute, there's an electron and a positron. 
Wow, there's not much at this uh, scale. I think there's a Higgs boson in there somewhere. Wow, and if you get all the way to the end of the, of the giant scale here, just the really biggest, you can see Apple's profit margin. It's right over here. I don't actually, it's off the scale. <laughs>